I don't need nor desire plumping. I'm feeling a little bit of peppermint tea tingling. I'll keep you posted. With colors that are cool like this, always accent them with something warm. Now you could be looking at this thinking, oh, this is the look, you know, eyeliner, mascara, you're good to go. That is true. You really could, you know, you really could, <laughs> like literally, you know, the eyeshadow base could really be, you know, your eye, your lid color. Now I'm all about an expensive eyeshadow palette. In fact, I have many of those. However, those of us who know, know that it's not always about the price of the eyeshadow palette. You just need to know what you are doing, number one. And then number two, you need to make sure that whatever palette you choose has in it the colors that you need to achieve the look that you want to achieve, okay? So I'm going to show you how I use, for the first time, this Elf Cosmetics Bite Size Eyeshadow Palette. This is called I Love You Latte. So it's a mini eyeshadow palette with four colors in it. I do wanna say, that I do wish that it had a warm reddish brown color in it. So you will see that I'll use something else to put into my crease. But for everything else, we're gonna use this eyeshadow palette. So if you're a beginner, if you just never use this eyeshadow palette, let's go through this together. So obviously let's do the face and get to the eyeshadow. I'll let you watch. I'm not gonna prime my face today. I'm just focusing on hydration by choosing this Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation. Watch my video on foundations and how to choose it based on the weather. I'll link it below for you in the description box. Wow, I am pleasantly surprised. I have not used Books in a long time. That liner, beautiful. The matte lippy, beautiful as well. It is a plumping lip, however. I don't need nor desire plumping. I'm feeling a little bit of peppermint tea tingling. I'll keep you posted. All links are below, FYI. I simply wanted to enjoy the color of the lippy, okay? Praise the Lord. So, like I said before, I'm going to use a transition color because that's important on brown skin. It just looks amazing. The palette I have in front of me is this one right here from Huda Beauty. But of course, you can just get any palette that has a color like this reddish brown one, which is called Legacy. There are several palettes in the world that have such a color. I'm gonna prime my eyes first. I almost forgot with this P. Louise base. I haven't primed my eyes in such a long time, so that's why I almost forgot. The shade is Rumor 02. It is a whitish pink undertone color. I'm putting some on the back of my hand. A little goes such a long way, so I'm not gonna use too much of this. I normally would use a synthetic brush, but this is what I have in front of me, okay? So I'm gonna just use this. This is really an eyeshadow type brush but the shape of it is really what I need to put it into place okay so using these motions to get it mainly on my eyelid because of course I've already this is the Sigma E28 brush I've already applied my highlight concealer don't want to disrupt that but I do want some of this product to go into my crease because we are going to apply a crease color but not too much we don't want there to be any lines of demarcation so that's why I began toward the base of my eye toward the eyelashes and then now I'm working my way up into the crease okay so no harsh lines stippling this in and we've identified the crease I mean you can see as I raised my brow it's, it's obvious right right here did you get that comment and let me know but uh that's the crease okay and we just blended it into that area seamlessly okay this lip is tingling a little bit nothing too painful but i can feel it it just feels like i ate a peppermint and i licked my lips all right starting off with the shade legacy from the huda beauty palette let's put this color right here into the crease i always tap off the excess and then place the product into the crease it's gonna go in a haphazard manner but i want it to spread really wide because when i put the dark brown color from that elf shadow palette onto my eyes. I'm gonna concentrate it more into the crease. So I do want this reddish brown to peak 
around it, giving it a sunset look, okay? Okay, to round out the whole look, I am going to use the Sephora Collection Pro Shadow Brush and take the same color, Legacy, under the eyes. Now we're finally here with the e.l.f. Cosmetics palette. This is the Morphe M573 brush, okay? Not as wide and fluffy, but still fluffy, okay? Now taking this the darker color in this palette, it is neutral, so it's not gonna have any redness to it. So do you see how I'm focusing that right here in the crease and allowing for that reddish brown color to still show on the outside of this. This is really and truly my go-to look for brown skin. When I was a makeup artist, this was the kind of look that I would choose to do for a lot of occasions, honestly, whether it was a wedding, prom, what have you, maybe lightening the colors, changing the shadows, but the basics of this are really universal and this just looks so good on brown skin. So I took more of the product and I'm focusing it right here in the front of my brow. If you've been here, then you know that I love to do this. It does just make the look more dramatic. If you don't want it to look this dramatic, then don't do this part, okay? I don't like for there to be a space between my brow and my crease. I think that's hideous. Now this is where the soft cut crease comes into play. Basically what I'm doing is opening up my eyelid because as you can see the brown color from the crease has taken over the whole entire eyelid. Now you could be looking at this thinking, oh, this is a look, you know, eyeliner, mascara, you're good to go. That is true. You really could, you know, you really could, <laughs> like literally, you know, the eyeshadow base could really be, you know, your eye, your lid color. But let's go in with one of the two in the middle. Now they look the same. However, this has a cool undertone and this one has a warm undertone. So I'm gonna go with this one because I don't want this to look too ashy, okay? And this is a flat, fluffy brush. This is the E28 from Sigma again. Now, now I could cut this crease to make it more clean, but let's just go over the brown. Usually that just works. Literally just go over the darker color with something light and it normally, yeah, it normally just works. Take your time with this and I'm doing left and right motions as I go around the curve of my eyeball. Do you see that? Comment, let me know. The eye is opened up, okay. Bringing it in, looking really dramatic here, making the eyelid look really big. And that's what I go for. Okay, so, so far I've used two shades out of the palette. I'm not gonna use the cream one. It has a yellow undertone, it looks almost white. I don't need that, although I could put that perhaps closer to the inner part of the eye or use that on the lid, but you know me. With colors that are cool like this, always accent them with something warm. I'm, I'm brown skin, this is my opinion as a makeup artist because otherwise it looks ridiculous. Again, in my opinion, okay? And that's why I used the reddish brown around this to really bring it in. So let's do mascara and lashes and then close it out. This is my first time using this and I think it's gonna be such a cute and easy way to highlight the inner eye tear duct. Look at that. Cause I normally take a, an eyeshadow with a brush, but come on. Now I am gonna wanna blend this out. I'm not gonna leave it like that, but this color is so good. Now this is an eyeshadow, right? So this can definitely go over your lid too. But I love using a frosty color like this to open up the front of the eyes. Let's blend this out. All right, here's the finished look. You might think that this looks very similar to a lot of looks that I do, but this, like I said, is a classic look. And of course these lashes made it that much more dramatic. All links are below. Let me know what you think about this look and I will see you in the next video. Bye.